That's the jib bullshit. That would be smart. This seems like shit. Opens up a shortcut. To have to clear this. Really wish they didn't always get the first turn, man. That's that's why it's rough. Because it's a relatively hard team that always gets the first turn. So you can get really unlucky, man. That's the easiest way to lose in this game, is not have first turn in a random fight. Main character can't attack right now. I don't need you anymore. I found the OST. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, Ditched. I'm, I'm gonna need you. Yeah, dude. Ditched. Dumped. Dumped. Oh. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. The old one pump chump. Give me that. One point. And hopefully we can make up for those last fights with Burrow's Cold War. World here. With the Cold War. Something about that one that I didn't grab it for. I think I couldn't find it on his page. Good work. Are you consulting your demons? It's funny because I I command demons and she said, Are you consulting your demons? Laugh and grow fire. Dude, it's Mr. Gas, man. Are we your first turn? It's Oba. Oh. <laughs> Are you writing some fan fiction for me, my man? Oh my. ZZW. Is Cactus even gonna live? Is he dying? I don't know if he knows, man. He's eating. He doesn't know he's dying. She. I mean, he's. Fight into the pain, dude. Okay. 
What's up with cactus? Oh, what we were talking about earlier, man. Let me. Or he's got a. Uh, that sickness. Of the, the pain in the, the bladder, the stomach. Them parts. Dude, I didn't get the insta kill on this fucking idiot. Alright, this guy always is the focus. He does not take much damage at all. Which is very tanky for some reason. Oh, that was about you? Oh, no, man. I was talking about when I had a bladder infection way back in the day. He asked if anybody knew about bladder infections or had, had one or whatever. Uh -huh. I s the main temple you're looking for is right in front of you. But if you want to pass... You must prove your strength to me. Are you ready? Why not? You must use all your might to defeat this demon. If oh. your might is not enough, then there will be nothing left but bone. I shall gauge your true power that shines only on the verge of death. Dope me. She even has a weakness. Oh, she must attack the candle. Oh, fuck me. Who cares if she has a weakness? Let's just go. Samurai from the firmament. It seems you are a force to be reckoned with. Now proceed. The firmament. Wow. Ah, you arrived. I managed to scrape by as well. It seems we all made it. The test is at an end. You have all passed. You won't be needing those candles any longer. We'll go explore through there when we're done. I just want to get rid of the candle. The skills you display today <clears throat> are a marvel to behold. Though, of course, we expect you to be that strong. Otherwise, you would not be allowed near Lady Yuriko. You were sent by Tayama, yes? What? Why would they all scream separately? Damnation, I think I fractured my bottom. Are the rest of you unhurt? Ouch. Yes, I'm still in one piece. 
Normally those who threaten the Ring of Gaia are put down by force. You have Lady Yuriko to thank for this mercy. Now, travel through the passage of ethics and meet Lady Yuriko. This seems like important evidence. I'll make a note of- Shut up, Barrows. Fucking robot bitch. She knew our motives, yet she still invited us in. But will we be allowed to leave? Have faith, Isabeau. All shall be well. Burroughs. You who wish to pass, answer our question. You will have two choices. The answer will reveal your inner self. Now, for the question. You're going to see a movie today? Yeah. 7.20 something. But my Three. brother wanted to sleep in a few extra hours. So we're going to the 10 p.m. So I'm going to leave in like a little more than an hour. You are the ruler of a country. I see the complete degenerate, but I'm just going to wake him up. To gather on mass for a game. I ain't playing around that much, man. I delete like pushing it an entire day. Well, if I did, I could invite Silent to it, but I just want to get the movie seen. It's the same shit. Among those who attend, one is extraordinarily tall. What would you do? If you would exclude this person for the sake of fairness, go right. If you accept that one's height is merely a part of their individuality, and include this person, go left. But that's dead simple. A man can't help being tall. Of course you'd have to accept it. I'm going left. Hmm, but then it would be unsporting to the others for the heights to be so grossly uneven. I would go right. It's not an easy decision. Which would you choose? Would you go left and accept the person for who they are? Or go right and disqualify? Fucking manlets, dude. Get over yourself. What will they learn? If I can want the special treatment, you man. Would allow this person to participate. Everybody's a little different in height, man. It all would make a difference. When would it stop, man? You know, oh, look at your eyes, two inches, man. You who wish to pass, answer our. You will have two choices. I need to like will reveal your inner split my chaos and shit though. This game's stupid in that it doesn't have neutral options. You have to pick one or the other. And bounce now, between them. For the question. You are the chief of a village which has lived the same way for one thousand years. You don't even pick the way you one want, day, really. A man visits your village, carrying with him revolutionary technology. This technology would greatly ease your people's lives, but would also do away with their current lifestyle. What would you do? Go right if you would expel the visitor in order to preserve the lifestyle you have always known. Go left if you would welcome the visitor in order to adopt his technology for your village. Hmm. New technology is quite tempting, but I do not think it worth upending the stability of a culture and causing confusion amongst the people. I shall go right. Don't be so hasty, Jonathan. Give the matter more thought. Life for all the villagers would be improved. One must take risks in order for one to see progress. Were it up to me, I'd go left. Another difference of opinion. Is Yuriko attempting to drive a wedge between our band? <clears throat> hesitate to be the one to decide this time either i can see where they're going but i'd still go left but i'm gonna go right because i care more about something that has nothing to do with these questions and that's the neutral ending Yeah, they make chaos seem a lot more uh, solid than this so far. 
And she's law on these options. I mean, are you calling me a cut, brother? I just want the neutral. I would pick chaos normally. I'm just saying, like, I, the chaos is way better here. Like, the stability of the culture, dude. I could fucking shit on the fucking floor and up in the culture, man. The stability of the culture. Like, that's what's just gonna happen, man. Culture will evolve around it. Tradition and shit's fucking stupid. It's pretty good, though, Guardian. It's good it's improving, I guess. Which would you t write to protect the traditional way of life? I hate um, traditional shit like that. New technology. So do these decisions actually give me points? Neutral chaos law? The idea of law is fine, but the way they're spinning it in this, I'm not a fan. When I think chaos, I'm like, we're talking like anarchy, like fist the fucking North Star, you know, like just bands of fucking psychos, killing each other, you know, like just wild, like organized chaos kind of shit. But a lot like hardcore law is like way like too much. If there was like the nine choices, I'd be like. I would pick like lawful neutral probably that kind of thing. Like like not was it lawful? True neutral. neutral. True neutral, yeah, would be what I'd pick. But if I had to pick like a law, it'd be like the neutral kind of law. I'd always just go true neutral though. Neutral just seems like a cop out I can't decide. I think you're literally have... not what it is. I don't think that's how it is, man. It means you can pick either or in the right situation, right? People who think that going the middle road means you're an indecisive fuck are idiots. Oh well you're just a fucking centrist. You don't have you're incapable of having an opinion. No dude. It just balances out. Because you help some people who are not shit. And then you help some people who are not shit but in other ways. And you end up squarely in the middle. I don't know. I just feel like there's times where you need to do one thing and then you need to do another. Like, blindly just fall on one side and it's kind of like stupid as fuck. There's times for law and there's times for taking risks, I guess, man. Well, I gotta let the ghouls in a ten penny tower. <laughs> what? Like, you better let them in. I'm fucking on the chaos, man. They're down on their luck. I'm being lawful good. I'm gonna help them go in the tower. <laughs> them <laughs> ghouls didn't do nothing. Them smooth skin. They, they're fucking well off already. Wow. Yeah, you're both retarded. I'm more like it. Diet law. It's pretty much diet law, yeah. I don't know. I'm always just too neutral if I can. It just depends on how people define chaos and law, though. In this situation, I would pick chaos, but I'm trying to balance between these. You would expel the visitor to protect the village's way of life. This is truly. This is just purely for ulterior reasons, when I have no. I, I'll talk about my input on these questions beforehand, but I'm gonna just bounce between the questions in case they're worth points. You who wish to pass, answer Cause it's like a point question. tracker through the game, so you need to like balance your options. Although uh, they're all weighted differently, I'm sure. Maybe not the you questions, have but two choices. The answer. This is the final inquiry. Uh -oh. Now for the question. The love of your life lies in front of you, unconscious. There is no hope that they will ever wake again. You have already tried many things to no avail. What would you do? If you would care for this person for the rest of your life, go right. If you would stop all treatment and allow this person to... I think it would be best to let them die. But on the other hand, it's somewhere... Yeah, Walter's you, better right now. Damn! 
That's a choice I can't make. Yeah, law is very not. This is the only like maybe. What, do I have, what is this big mark on my neck? Is that just sitting a weird way? Am I dying? Um, they make law very unappealing in this. Like fucking, like eighties fucking like. <laughs> Volume hair like Jonathan over here. This fucking stupid voice and his prissy fucking attitude. This crappy law choices. It's like, man. Give me the base, Walter. We are in agreement on that point, Walter. I can't decide either. These questions are all so unpleasant. Which would you choose? Left? Letting your beloved die? Or right, committing to staying at their side for the rest of the So are they potatoes right now or what? What was, was what was the details of the question? I mean if they're fine, but they just need me to like take care of them all the time. Whatever, or, you know, like if they have a little pain then that's kinda of for them. If they're potatoes though, I mean It's one of those deals like, yeah, it sucks, but you're just prolonging the inevitable, man. You're going to have to feel that that sadness at some point. Might as well just let them go earlier, man, and just live live your life <laughs> like they'd want, right? I mean, would you, I don't know if I'd want my person to slave over me if I was a fucking potato, man. I mean, the gesture is cool, but I don't need like a 60-year gesture. I feel like lawful stupid in this. Like it just doesn't even make sense. If you can break it down. It's just the idea that you're choosing to let the person you like die when you could make them live longer, you know? That just sounds spooky. <laughs> yeah, dude. The hoys, man, like I'm, I'm trying to see the lawful. Like, if you just spit it out real quick, it sounds really mean, but when you think about it, there's nothing, like, stupid about it. Well, we've already been bouncing between, so we'll just go with the chaos, I guess. This is me assuming they're potato people. If they're not potatoes, then that's for them to decide. If it's one of those things, like, they're fine, but they need me to take care of them, and I don't really want to or something... Like, I have to sacrifice my whole life to just sit there and take care of them. Like, that's fine. If they're cool, I don't mind just, like, chilling at home, taking care of a person. Like, it's all day, probably. You would let your dearest beloved die a natural death? So this is where there's no neutral route. They really want to... No neutral choices, they really want to force these on you. Kind of human you are now? Yeah, I'm the kind of person that decisions are based on ulterior motives, lady. I'm actually just a straight degenerate, man. I didn't think that I'd meet subjects of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado here. You're the Black Samurai! Why are you here? She truly still lives. <laughs> Enough with the formalities. We're all acquainted with each other, yes? Big necked lady. So you can call me Yuriko. Yuriko? You're Yuriko? <laughs> oh my god. Well, that's a shock. Hmm, that means kill the black samurai and kill Yuriko. They're the same quest. She's the leader of the ring of God. That's cool. I sure kind of lame, dude. It's just, just the fucking like Yakuza. This has like intrigue and Tis weird cults. Our task and Tayama's wishes Mystery. Yeah, Burroughs is like, she's like, God, I gotta get the quest updated. Ah! Like, shut the fuck up. Save it for later. Are you going to kill me the way Tayama and Gabby coerced you to? And if not, what will you do? <laughs> well, tell me more about yourself. <laughs> oh. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. 
Holy fuck. Spooky. I am Lilith. I have observed mm -hmm. this world from before the birth of your species. I like them spooky. The Black Samurai. She's a demon. Yeah, fucking shocking, dude. And it was by a demon's hand that the foul books were carried into our kingdom. You are a monster who reduced our countrymen to base demons. And I shall have your head for it! Since you seem incapable of subtlety, let me explain something to you. It wasn't me who changed them into demons. It's the natural result of humans suppressing their desires. Well, I shall have your head you right here. Save it? Humans <laughs> and demons are the I same I shall have essence? your head. One sec, let me fucking spray a little fucking hair juice in my fucking hair. Exactly. What do they call that it shit? It was in the eight. 80s. Product. No, it had like to give you that like wet curl look going on. Jerry curls. Yeah. What was the name of the shit they used? Oh, dude, I don't fucking know. There was Edge a special Hall. name. <laughs> There's a special name for this shit back then. That's how I imagine Jonathan's hair. Listen, children of man. You have witnessed it. You have seen yourself the emotions of the people of the Eastern Kingdom of Mikado as they became demons. Those absurd rules created to bend the ignorant to their will. That is what you humans should reserve your hatred for. Absurd rules? I simply want to restore the human world to its natural order. A state unbound by the whims of rulers, where the strong can shape the world as they please. Dude, he doesn't like his demons, man. They're just a tool to him. He throw them away in an instant. It's a necessary evil, right? To battle. He doesn't have to worry about getting hurt himself, man. He just lets the, the evil people fight the evil people, man. Tokyo. And of course, I don't know. I don't know what it's Your reasoning. Eastern Kingdom of Mikado as well. <sighs> I'll waste not one word rebutting this blasphemy. I shall smite you now. Hold, Jonathan. Yuriko, or rather Lilith. This talk of a world which the strong can reshape as they see fit. In such a world, provided that he had the strength, could a casual read do as he pleased? I warned you against allowing her words purchase. We are here to strike her down. Demon, prepare yourself! Mm -mm. I said to stay your hand, Jonathan. Random forced hate what? between people. I mean, like, yeah, they're on different sides of the coin, but this fucking hard, man. Already? It's just everybody's been talking about making a new world, man. Like, why is she much more special to him? Lilith, this world. How would you bring it about? You have an important role, not as samurai, but as humans. We have a role. First, gain knowledge and wisdom. You know of the hills in Rapongi, yes? There is a facility below ground there, run by Tayama. Go and have a look for yourselves. You will see there what true evil is. But if that doesn't sway your opinion, then I'll be happy to stand as your adversary. My friends, I am sorry, but refrain from killing Yuriko until I return. Walter, what are you saying? I must know what this true evil is. Those and what true pretty role we humans have Walter to play. too. Yeah. Those are lies from the honeyed lips of a demon. See, Jonathan's just that, like, he's completely just... He doesn't care about what anything's saying. He doesn't care about, like, any of the, the arguments or the, you know, like, possibilities that could be happening. He's just, yeah, my fellow. He's a simpleton. My hair, no demon, I hate demons, no matter which one's talking, they're all bad. Like, I'm not saying she's good, but 
wanting to learn more is fine, unless you think that the time she's buying is like essential. <laughs> Idiot luxury. <laughs> Humanity has no true role. This is really one of the most open-minded law represented in the entire series. Yeah, they all seem super like the same. They all seem super neutral, then all of a sudden now they're a little different. In all my 18 years, a lot more black and white than the other ones. Considered. 18? He's only 18. Two looks like he's 30. Changing the world. I'll oh shit! A new quest on the list. I don't know why my face looks so fucking red on this camera, dude. It's so weird. It's just all the white. It bothers me. <laughs> yeah, fucking burrows, dude. Oh, China. I don't know. No, great. Don't get me No fucking shit. Because the DS is in my face, it's like always white. I mean, the reds are people, dude. I mean, we've already hinted at it a million times. Oh cross swords with one of our fellows. Wow. That Walter. So what? Neutral's just siding with like the cute girl, man. <laughs> I mean, I'd be a cute boy, but I'll take it, man. Over the rest. Then I'd go with Walter as a second, and I'd just rather die than Jonathan. <laughs> it's like days of our lives or some shit. Like fucking, fucking Jonathan betrays Walter and stabs him in the chest, and he's like, quick, get me a potion. And the bro's like, dude, I got this, I got this shit, fucking go get him a potion right now. I'm registering it as a quest, go get it. <laughs> get it. You have five seconds. Like Jonathan. Zabu is pregnant. I'll register that as a new quest. It's fucking right in the middle. New quest. Raise the baby. A hidden path to the surface, huh? Thank you, bros. I'm a very simple-minded person. It's hard for me to keep track of things I need to do when there's only when there's like two of them. It's too too many for me to think about. This is like the first strength essence I've ever seen. They just don't care about strength, though. Maybe there's been more, I don't know, but pretty much, bro. I want to finish exploring this.
Yeah, there's like an item. Oh man, it's time for me to go through and change all the file names on all of my songs. Wow, that's It's time fun. to become autism. <laughs> Pretty much. Become. Implying you aren't already. Desktop. Four. New. It begins. It begins. Oh, man. I'm sure glad I decided to explore this one. <laughs> Yahoo! My fucking beanie is getting sweaty. My hellish demon armor is also getting sweaty. Wait, this is the wrong one? What? Enhance. Zoom. Enhance. Zoom. Enhance. Zoom. We'll see if I'm back after the movie this time. The movie's a ton. It's probably like over two hours. It might just be the end. By the time I'm back, we could do another hour or two, but I think I'll have been up for 16 already. Which one of these was the right way? I don't even remember. What's this one? Uh... Should try memorizing things a little harder. So I'm just going with the flow. We got pumpkin bombs. Ooh. Delicious. to Rapongi Hills. I need to catch one of both of these dudes, man. But what about our fellow, man? Our fellow. I wonder if he just works with that guy. You need the weakness, right? Well, I love these questions where the first one fucking immediately turns it into a fucking oh, failed fight. Cool, dude. I should really just kill one, like only leave one up every time. 
I want both of these dudes, but Japan just letting these guys have like a bunch of free turns. There we go, man. Shit takes way too long. I'm glad in P5 that's a little, a little quicker. Like it's fun, but you need to get like every single dude, like a shitload of dudes, just to do fodder. Sometimes it can be. A lot. You spend a lot of time doing this. It's a little more success, man. Maybe a little less questions. Excellent, dude. What a good use of time. They did, man. I'm gonna do one cheat, but it's been really biting in the ass lately. Are they just getting like better, or it's like your luck stat, or I've just been unlucky and just in general. Should have took an item. All that talking gave me a lot of XP at least. That's right. I could upgrade how much XP I get, but what do you guys think a good uh, next option is on my app points? Show you what we're working with. Just one sack. This is what we got left. I was thinking like fun rays. If it's even half as good as Persona 5, fun rays would be nice. I mean, talk XP wouldn't be horrible. We're doing a uh, fusion booster. But fusion booster is really expensive. I don't know if I would ever get enough to have like a considerable jump. I know by the end you get 15 levels, so I don't know when it starts making big chunks. And I'm thinking fusion booster, fun rays. That's about it, really. The demon analyze would be a nice little extra. HP recovery is pointless. Fan stocks, not, I don't need it. Skill smoother wouldn't be bad, but most of my spending comes from like really big 
spells instead of a bunch of small ones. Enhancing would be good if I was like grinding a demon, but I'm not. Skill I'm sure gives cool stuff, but I don't think it's worth 60. And a gift. Care about two demon fusion during battle. More XP or discounts. I feel like going for the fusion booster, man. And that'll just give me a stronger team by the end. Fuck, why are like all of these dudes like nothing then? I don't have that many new dudes at all. Alright, this guy's a combo from fodder, so. That's good. Still asleep. Good God. Got an hour, man. Nice to meet you. You gotta sleep in 40 minutes. So I gotta go and then wake his ass up. Hope we get off a little earlier. Fusion possible. Tanta, Scat, uh, whoever this is. Who is this? I have everybody else on here. Pungi Hills. I'm guessing it's just all the way back. Near that dude's main base. It's like, what is lawful? Like, siding with. Is it. Si Surely it's not siding with the church. Or, I mean, siding with the Shurikai. I'm guessing it's more like the church or some shit. The Shurikai just seemed like Fox, but. I, mean, I figured it's a battle for Tokyo amongst oh, Tokyo look. people. Walter. Huh. Hi there. You're not all together today, huh? Who is this? And why do we Did see her so have much? An argument? What were you discussing with Walter? Out with it. He wanted to go under Rapungi, so I told him about someone who might know how to get there. This bitch feels like she's like gas station attendant kind of thing going on, you know? Like... Maybe she's somebody oh, special. did he say that? Can I? It's a spoiler if I explain it. Oh god. For those in the know. She feels important. You're in the know, aren't you? Yeah, you are in the know. Right? He's a guy called Fujiwara in Shijuku. Okay, I'll be going now. Bruce. Oh, that's right. If you run into him, tell him that Florida is a members only cafe. That matchbox proves you're a member. This seems like important evidence. I'll make a note of it in the quest. 
fucking... Can he say that? Jesus. It's not a spoiler to say Pen can't fucking spell. Hey, man. We all have our typos, brother. <laughs> fucking penguin. Man! They know the cooties. Ew. Ew. They know the girl cooties. I hope you find everything you're looking for, so Shinjuku. Bring them out. <laughs> underwear. <laughs> some some fucking underwear. I'm hoping they're like panties or something, dude. You're not just buying my fucking sweaty undies. Hiding under this fucking armor. <laughs> this plate armor. Do you think you guys commando wearing this like fucking steel armor? Mr. Onaki's that hard. I mean, Onaki's in his name. Of course he's going commando. I wonder how raw the dick is though. Maybe the dick's made of steel. Activating. Now we probably have a bunch of fucking side quests to open now. We're here. Every city doesn't have its own quest that pop up, right? It's just the top and the bottom. That'd be really stupid if I had to check every single city. I haven't seen it yet, man. I'm leaving in like an hour. Or less. Brother needs to keep sleeping in for some reason. Even though it's been like 9 or 10 hours already of sleep. <laughs> Don't even look. <sighs> I'll just read your thoughts, ma'am. I can tell by the emotion how ferociously you fucking typed what you meant to say. It's your pleasure. I'll register them. If you've got business, then hurry up. Yo. Yo. The golden That's gun. It. <laughs> you just leave the rest to me. If you've got business, then hurry up and spit it out. It's open we both see each other alive again. Welcome to the well, then. Now. Open it's good though. Oh, Valkyrie. Just mixing together trash, cool. Uh... 
Might as well throw it in there, man. I don't really care about the Taraja. Well, maybe I should, but... Eh. Don't happen that often. Allow me to show you. One time, I'm sure we can figure out some strats to get around it or trust in the luck. Unless we're up against, like, fucking what's his ass. What's the fly dude called? The hell, Lord of the Flies guy. Beelzebub. We're up against him. From SMT3, I might need a little bit of. A little bit of something, something. A little bit of something, something. Burrows. Studio art building next to Shinjuku Station East Gate. Oh, we're in Shinjuku. Fancy that. Cafe Florida, I guess. What the hell's with the FPS there, man? Just dipping for no reason. It's a goddamn mystery. Shinjuku somewhere. 